WMG's mission is to improve manufacturing processes through new technologies and new skills. It's recognised as one of the world's leading industrial research and education centres, employing over 500 people on the University of Warwick campus and other locations around the world. Hello, I'm David McClelland and I've been keeping track of Zap and & Go and its ultra-fast charge technology. Today I'm at WMG's Energy Innovation Centre to witness another aspect of battery technology, safety. With so many recent media reports of exploding lithium batteries, it's a particularly hot topic, but it's one in which Zap & Go claims to have an industry-leading advantage. I'm at WMG's Battery Abuse Testing Centre with test engineer Mal Hughes. Mal, thanks for joining us. Tell me, what sort of stuff do you get up to here? Well, this is where we test uh, batteries to destruction. In today's tests, we nail penetrated a Zap & Go cell and repeated the test on a standard lithium cell and compared the two. So as we saw there, quite dramatically, the Zap and Go cell remains unscathed in the nail penetration test, but the lithium battery literally goes up in smoke. Not only that, but the Zap and Go cell continues to work afterwards. Now, what this kind of test shows is the robustness of the carbon ion cell versus the lithium. And if Zap and Go can achieve its stated goals of high power output and fast charging, then the rechargeable market just got a whole lot more interesting. And I, for one, can't wait to see what happens next.